Hi guys, so yeah, I've been trying to start this video for ages, but I'm just gonna go with it and whatever comes out now, we're rolling with. Um, yeah, so hello, I'm back with another video, and um, today I wanted to show you some of the pieces that I've picked up to add to my capsule wardrobe. Um, I am still doing the capsule wardrobe, but I've mentioned it many times before, I don't really follow like a strict number of pieces. I just want to make sure that all the pieces I have, um, I'm wearing and I really love and I feel really good in. Um, and a lot of the pieces, um, I sort of need to do another clear out because a lot of the pieces that I do have are actually wearing out. Mostly my tops and I uh, like things like, like a, I have a grey t-shirt that I loved, but it's actually got a few holes in it now because I've had it for a couple of years and I'm just wash and wear it, wash and wear it all the time. I've also been um, loving watching haul videos recently and they're kind of my guilty pleasure. And I've particularly been loving um, Barbara from The Persian Babe. I've been watching like her big back catalogue of um, haul videos. And also, also Lizzie Hadfield. Um, she did a really cool haul video where she basically tried on all the pieces and talked through them while she was trying them on um, and talked about different ways that she would style them and like the sizes that she got and what she thought of them and I thought that was really helpful so I thought I would try and do the same kind of thing. So, <laughs> ramble over, sorry about that, let's get started. The first piece that I picked up was this um, cotton grey t-shirt. Not the most exciting thing, but it's one of those pieces that you just need in your wardrobe. One of those basics that will just, it just helps you wear everything else. Like it just makes it so much easier to style things. And as I said before, I have a favourite one, which I still am wearing, but it's really looking quite worse for wear. And I was struggling to find the perfect piece um, until I found this one. And um, this one is from Country Road. It's uh, just a grey 100% cotton t-shirt. I've actually got the name. It is the Cotton Slub Tee and I got it in the size extra extra small because I wanted it quite fitted. I always find what t-shirts to be so difficult to find because I'm not someone who wants like heaps of different styles of t-shirts. I want to find my perfect one and I want to wear it all the time. Um, and this is what I found. I actually also got it in white which I will try on afterwards and I'll show you how I style this one. But the thing about it is that it's just the perfect, like, the material is soft and um, it's light enough that you can tuck it into things really easily, it doesn't all bunch up, but at the same time, <coughs> excuse me, at the same time it's thick enough that it's not super sheer, which I hate it when tops are too sheer. Um, and it's got the perfect sleeve length, I like the round neck because it means that you can layer things much more easily. Usually I go for things that are a bit more scooped, usually I just like a little bit more skin showing just here, but um, for some reason I really love the fit of this one and it is just um, a really nice piece. It also looks really nice just untucked and I wear it like this quite a lot as well. And yeah, those are the first two pieces and I'm so so happy with them because they've been on my list for ages. I always get things from Country Road when the spend and save is on. So if you spend 150, you save 50. If you spend 300, you save 100. Um, so I always sort of keep a lookout for that <laughs> and um, pick up things when that sale is on. So sticking with Country Road, I also picked up this braided tan leather belt, which I really, really like because the good thing about the braided belts is that you don't have to have any holes in them. You can just stick it through wherever and so if you want to wear it around your waist, you can. Um, sorry, this is your waist. <laughs> or if you want to wear it around your hips, you can. And I can just picture this uh, with a lot of my dresses um, and looking really, really great in summer. I don't wear a lot of belts with my jeans, but maybe I'll give that a try. But yeah, it's really nice. I like the... Um, the gold detail as well and it's just a nice belt. So I've actually finally bought a pair of overalls. I absolutely love overalls. I remember wearing them when I was little and um, I'm so happy that they're back in fashion. I've already tried the, the shorts version. Um, these ones are, are long. I'll try and show you. But um, I've already bought the shorts version, um, like I've got some blue denim ones and I've got a, like a dark green pinafore, but I was so excited to finally find these um, long, long overalls. 
which actually fit me and look good because um, they're a bit, it's like a fine line, like you could, you can, they can go really wrong, <laughs> I think. These are from Sports Girl and they were about $119, I think, but I think they're totally worth it. Uh, these ones are actually really great because um, they are just the perfect fit for me and my body shape, I guess. The bottoms are, they're not too fitted. I don't, you really don't wanna to go too fitted with overalls, but at the same time, they're not super baggy. And um, I don't know, the material's actually really nice. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, but I, hopefully it's not gonna stretch out too much. Um, and then I can just picture styling these in so many different ways. I love how they're just a little bit cute and quirky and just not something that you see everybody wearing. You can tell I'm excited about them. I'm just like talking a million miles per hour. Um, but yeah, so I'm planning on just wearing these um, really casually uh, with some Converse and just simple t-shirts, maybe making it a little bit more girly by wearing like a pink t-shirt or something under it. Um, and hopefully, let me know if you want to see a styling video on, on these because I want to show you all the different ways I'm planning on wearing them. I think they also look great with a pair of just black ballet flats. It makes them a little bit less... I guess a little bit less childish, um, but Tom always says I dress like an oversized six-year-old, but <laughs> that's okay, I'm happy with that. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, I really, really like them. I remember when I was little, I probably about 10 or so years old, something like that, and I had a pair of Oshkosh Bigosh overalls. And um, I had a denim pair and I had this like navy just navy denim pair as well. And I used to wear it with this cream, um, like cream shirt with a little frilled collar and a little beret. And I don't know, actually thinking about it, that's probably one of the first times that I remember dressing up and really getting into fashion. And I was only about 10, so um, yeah. I've loved, I've loved overalls for a very long time. Let me know if you like the whole overalls trend. I guess some people call them dungarees. But, um, because I, I think they can be a bit divisive. Moving on to um, some shoes now. I have finally bought myself a new pair of Converse after I think I've had my, my old ones, which I still wear and I still love, but they're looking very, very battered. I've had them for about 11 years or so, and um, they've served me very well, but I thought I would treat myself to a new pair. I just got a black pair of Converse. Really, really simple, but um, they look great with so many, so many outfits. And... Um, still trying to wear them in, they're a little bit, they do rub quite a lot at the moment and um, they're getting a bit better. When I first wore them, they were like so white and bright and I'm going, okay, <laughs> need to dirty them up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I love, love, love Converse. And I also, um, this is a few months ago now, but I also found this great pair of over the knee boots, which I've been... I've liked the trend for quite a while, but I never thought it would work for me because I'm quite a shorty and um, I just I could never find boots that looked looked right. They all came up like way too high and I'm going, I don't like that look. These ones are from Betts and they actually fit perfectly. They come up just above my knee, sort of just to about here. Hopefully you can see that. And um, they've got a little tie at the back, so if they like it stops them falling down holds them in the right spot um, and I've done another video which you may or may not have seen styling these in all sorts of different ways I'll link that video down below if you want to have a look at it they look really great just with simple skinny jeans or um, I think it looks really good if you wear them with some shorter shorts or like a play suit or a shorter dress and it really elongates your legs so this next piece is a super super special one and it's actually a jumpsuit uh, this is from Zimmerman, so it was definitely ridiculously pricey, but it, um, I justified it because it was on sale and it was like my birthday present to myself. <laughs> and it's just such a special piece that I know I'll have for years and years to come. And I feel like it's really versatile too, as well as being just a little bit different, not just a normal dress. It's it's a jumpsuit um, and these are actually like I'm seeing so many more of these pop up and I really like them um, hopefully you can see uh, it okay here 
but it's just this beautiful uh, linen linen fabric and it's got this muted floral pattern so I think it makes it really versatile you can wear it you can make it more summery um, with some high sort of tan sandals in summer and uh, and just like, like this or you can make it more suitable for winter as well so I've actually layered it before with a um, long sleeve black top and my leather jacket and it just looks really great too um, and it's just something a bit different and makes you feel really good in it. This is it layered just with a t-shirt underneath and I think it just makes it a little bit more casual, um, a bit less revealing and I really like that it's versatile like this. This last piece is one that I probably shouldn't have bought and um, I just thought I would show you because it just goes to show you, even though you can be super super careful and smart about your shopping um, and doing a capsule wardrobe, sometimes you make mistakes and I think that this dress is one of them. I really like the idea of it, but I don't think I'm gonna get the wear out of it because I kind of broke my own shopping rules. Usually I don't let myself buy anything that's like a little bit fiddly or difficult to wear, and this dress certainly is. <laughs> I think if you um, had a smaller chest and were able to just go no bra and it would look awesome, like, I just had the picture in my head of that, you know, the slip dress and with the converse and maybe the t-shirt underneath, but I, I just don't know about it. I love the colour and I love the wrap style, but it's just, I, I have to wear a t-shirt under it because otherwise it's just way too revealing. And I don't know, I can't return it sadly because I bought it in a sale. It was from Coco and Lola. Um, and like they had this big warehouse sale and unfortunately I got sucked in and there's no returns so <laughs> you know it happens sometimes I've learned from it and I won't do it again and I'm gonna try and wear this dress um, as much as I as I can I actually need to shorten it because it's it's too long it just looks weird on me but um, yeah it's such a pretty pink color and the you know the the wrap style is really really nice but one, one disappointment. <laughs> so I've changed into something I feel much more comfortable now. Um, and I don't know, overalls I just feel so good in them, whereas the dress that I just had on, I really shouldn't have bought. I would love to hear which was your favourite piece and which one uh, you liked. I think mine are the overalls and obviously the Zimmerman jumpsuit because that's just awesome. <laughs> I think the thing about haul videos is that they're just fun to watch because you can see what other people have bought and what they like and um, it can just give you new ideas, so that's sort of just what I'm doing it for. It's just to share. It's kind of like, I know when you're younger and you'd come home from like a little shopping trip and I'd show my mum the pieces I bought, that kind of thing. Just a lot of fun. I think I will do some lookbook videos, so uh, let me know what style of those you like, uh, because I have a lot of fun making the ones to the music, but um, I also really like watching ones where people just talk through um, why why they've styled it a certain way and all that kind of thing so I think I'll experiment with that a little bit. I had a lot of fun filming this actually so uh, yeah hopefully you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I've never actually asked anyone to subscribe before so I feel really awkward about it but <laughs> I would love it if you did subscribe. Anyway have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>